Hey SideQuesters, get ready for the amazing news! Today we're officially announcing the new app that will completely revolutionize the way you're using SideQuest. We've had our PC app for a while and since last year we've also introduced our SideQuest mobile app. And today we're bringing to you the official SideQuest in VR app. It comes with an easy installer for PC and this installer will guide you through the setting up process and help you troubleshoot any issues you might have along the way. And you'll be able to sideload SideQuest app directly onto your your headset. With SideQuest in VR, you'll be able to browse through all our apps and not just install App Lab, but also sideload content, including games and even custom homes, directly within your headset with a clean and intuitive interface. I bet you're excited to get started, as you should be, so let's get right into it. When you go to SideQuestVR.com and then click on Get SideQuest, you will see the new option to download Easy Installer Beta. Download the one that works for your machine and run it. This clever little app will literally take you by the hand and walk you through the entire setup process for your Quest. Since your headset is not yet connected to a PC, this red dot indicates that no headset is detected. If this is your first time using SideQuest, click on Open Setup Instructions. And here you'll find a step-by-step -step guide that will help you set up your Quest. It includes a link in the description and a short video demonstration of what you should do to create your organization. This is the first step. Step 2 is to enable the developer mode using your Oculus app, and again, it's supported by the visuals and the verbal description. A quick reminder that all the steps are also described in our official video tutorial, but now you can find all of them right here in the installer, which is insanely convenient. The last step is to connect your Quest to your computer using a USB-C cable. At this point, you should see a connection status change. Currently, I have all the status fields red because I have not connected my quest yet, but as soon as I do it, the status will change. And what's cool about this app is that it helps you troubleshoot what exactly might be the reason why your quest isn't connecting. For example, if I disable the dev mode on my quest, you will see that the corresponding status has changed as well. Another reason might be that you haven't allowed ADB debugging in your headset, or maybe you have a defective USB cable and need to try another one, or even a different USB port. There are even some extra suggestions that may help you fix your issue, and they are always up to date. So even if that doesn't help you, you can always go to the support on our support community tab on our website to ask your questions there. But we are confident that with this new troubleshooting system, it will make it so much easier for you to troubleshoot and set up your side quest in no time. As soon as you've successfully connected your headset to your PC, a whole bunch of new features unlock for you. For example, you can transfer files directly to your headset, which makes installing game ports like Doom 3 and Quake 3 and all others incredibly easy. We'll talk about this later in this video. Video. You can also change the headset settings, such as increase the refresh rate, disable proximity sensor so that your quest doesn't go to sleep when you take it off, enable full rate capture to record better quality videos, change your video capture size to HD, and of course, the most popular feature, increase the texture resolution size to improve the visual quality of your game. All this can be done through the launcher on your PC, but now let's install SideQuest on your quest to see what you can do from within your headset. Make sure that all the status bars are green, go to home and click on install SideQuest in your headset. Put on your headset and here you will find the SideQuest app in your library under unknown sources. Click on it and the first time you run SideQuest, you will need to link it to your SideQuest account. Make sure you're signed into your SideQuest on the PC and go to sdq.sd slash link. This is where you'll put the same code you saw in the headset. When you're done, this window will appear. Click on link app. And now you're all set. You can use our new SideQuest app directly in your headset without your PC or your phone. You can find all our apps there and download them in a matter of seconds. You can even sideload them. By clicking on a game that needs to be sideloaded, like Doom 3 Quest, for example, you can click on this big pink button. The first time you sideload games, you will need to allow SideQuest permissions on your headset. Click on Settings, then toggle this switch and go back. Finally, you will be prompted to install this app and once the installation is complete, you will even see the status bar at the bottom telling you that the installation is completed successfully. You can also check the status of all your sideloaded apps here under Download Queue, which is pretty neat. SideQuest even has an easy way to access all your sideloaded content. Simply click on this button in the top right corner, it will immediately open your Unknown Sources tab. But if you don't want to overlay your SideQuest app, this window shows you how you can drag and drop it to the side 
panel so that you can keep your side quest open while browsing your library. How cool is that? As soon as you do that, press continue and your unknown sources window will open right next to it. Beautiful, isn't it? But of course, we can't run Doom 3 Quest yet as this is a game port and I will show you later in this video how to install VR game ports easily and quickly with a new side quest app. Another cool thing is that you can resize your side quest window and the layout will adapt to any size you choose. It just shows you how much thought is put into developing this app to make it intuitive, accessible and easy to use. Installing App Lab games is a breeze too. Similarly to sideloading, open an app and click on this pink download button. Then an Oculus Store window will pop up from which you'll be able to download your game directly like any other official game. It will then show up in your library instead of the unknown sources with a little tag App Lab. That's where all your App Lab games will appear. SideQuest app also has lots of sorting options, such as filter by categories and popularity and even browsing through free games. Click on Apply to see your results. And now let's clear our filters and browse through custom homes. Yes, from the menu, you can select a tab that's specifically dedicated to custom homes. Custom homes can change your default home environments, and there are dozens of cool ones that you can download from SideQuest directly in your headset. You can also apply some filters here to ease your search, and when you find the environment that you like, click on it and download. The status bar at the bottom will show you the downloading progress. Once it's done, click on Install. After it's installed successfully, from this window you can open your Virtual Environments menu directly. You will not be enabling your custom homes from unknown sources this time, but rather from Virtual Environments window. Scroll down until you find your downloaded environment and click on it. Imagine how many more cool environments you can find and download from SideQuest directly. And if you're skilled in 3D rendering, you can even create your own custom home ABK. And finally, I'm going to show you how to easily set up and run VR game ports on your Quest using Doom 3 Quest by Dr. Beef as an example. You will no longer need to manually copy game files from your computer to your Quest as the new SideQuest app will do all the heavy lifting for you. I have already sideloaded the free Doom 3 Quest port from SideQuest onto my headset. To make it run, you need to purchase the original Doom 3 game from Steam. Because it's a fairly old game, it's rather cheap and it often goes on sale for less than $2, which let's be honest, is next to nothing. When you buy it, install it on your Steam account and make sure that it's up to date. Then go back to your SideQuest launcher. After making sure that your quest is successfully connected, click on Transfer Files. Here you'll find a list of all game port profiles that can be easily installed with this app. This list is constantly updated with more VR game ports added to SideQuest. Right now I need Doom 3 Quest, so I click on it. The beautiful thing here is that the app will automatically detect the location of the game on your computer. You can always change it manually if needed, but the system is usually pretty great at detecting this location. As long as the game is installed on your Steam, you can click on Start File Transfer. After a short wait time, all the required files will be copied onto your Quest. I already have sideloaded Doom 3 Quest on my headset, but if you have it, you can do it after this step. And from now on, installing VR game ports from SideQuest is a piece of cake, and we truly hope that you will enjoy using our new SideQuest app in VR. As you're using it, give us some feedback. What do you think about this new app? We really want to hear from you. And make sure to follow us on social media using the handles you see below, and of course subscribe to this YouTube channel for more updates and exciting VR gaming highlights. Thank you for being a part of our amazing SideQuest community. See you soon, and happy SideQuesting!